What's going on, people? So, believe it or not, right, today, what, the, the 23rd, 23rd of October, right? Just yesterday, this box arrived. So, this is probably the, the quickest turnaround I've done in a while, at least for, like, getting it open, right? There is still the question of when will it actually get on the air and whatnot. I mean, I would like to say tomorrow, but I'm not going to because I honestly don't know. But it'll at least be quicker than the last ones, right? So there is that. So let's go ahead and get on into this, right? See what's going on. So first up, right, there's that side of the thing. If you want the spoilers, they are right here for you. So there's that, and now it's gone. So feel free to look back at the camera and all that stuff, or at the screen. So let's go ahead and see what's first, right? So if I can get this thing to unravel. This right here is a t-shirt, right, as you can tell, and it is, oh, Robocop and Sting from that WCW event many, many moons ago. So that's unexpected, right? Kind of cool, right? I mean, I didn't really follow anything about wrestling back then, but I hear that that was basically a, a train wreck, at least from what Jim Cornette said many moons ago. But still kind of a cool shirt, though. We'll give them that. And moving right along, we have another t-shirt here. This one is, oh wow, that's, it's like a cross between like Mankind and Chainsaw Charlie, right? So this one, definitely like better than the last one. Not that the last one was bad, but I do like this one a fair amount more, right? Because that's something where I actually have, I don't know, some memory of it, you know what I'm saying? Because that was around the time when I was actually like getting big into the whole wrestling thing, you know? Speaking of which, I need to see, I think that Chainsaw Charlie figure is out for pre-order or it might be in stock now, you know, ringside collectibles and whatnot if you're interested. Moving along, we have one of these brawler balls, right? The last time I saw one of these, it was like, I think the last one was that, what was that movie with Roddy Roddy Piper? They Live, right? There might have been another one too, I think. I think there was a Lucha Brothers one also. This one is Randy Savage, Macho Man Randy Savage, which is cool. I actually just had a Macho Man shirt on the other day. So, you know, I'll give you like shots of like the whole thing so you can kind of see the front, the back, or whatever. But yeah, these things are actually pretty decent, so that's all right. It's all right. Moving right along, we got a micro brawler, right? So this is Frankenhausen, right? So you should have seen that coming, I guess, because, you know, the whole theme of the thing and whatnot. But, as I've said before, and I'll get you like a shot on there a little closer, I never really got the Danhausen thing, right? It's probably just not for everybody, right? I mean, what is, really, you know? But again, if there's something I'm missing, you know, if there's some kind of thing that'll, that you think will turn me on to being a fan or whatever, please, share that with me, because I am curious. Now this, this right here is very cool. So the Insane Clown Posse pin, right? Now... I've been a fan of them since about as long as I've been a fan of wrestling, right? Yeah, whenever Forgotten Freshness Volumes 1 and 2 came out, that was like the first album that I got of theirs, and I think it was right after I got into wrestling, so yeah. But either way, this is pretty cool. Very happy to have this one in the collection or whatever. I was actually just seeing their whole Hollow Wicked promotions and whatnot recently, so I'm not going, but it'd be cool. Yeah, so this is probably like the best pin that I've ever received from Pro Wrestling Tees, easily. Just because of the personal association or whatever. Moving along, we have a comic book here. So on the front, you got this, what, Tales from the Cryptic Closet. So that's actually some pretty cool art. Kind of reminds me of, it's like the Iron Maiden album, I think. You know, Number of the Beast or something. But, uh, and then on the back end here... That kind of looks like a 3D sort of thing almost. I don't think it is. I think that's just, the, yeah, it's, it's likely not. I think that's just how the artwork was done or whatever. And then looking on the inside, let's see what the artwork's looking like in here. It's different. You know, it's pretty cool though. I will say that. It's just, it's different from what they normally do. But yeah, I'm on board with it. One of, one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to read these things. Look at that. Like, very cool. Very cool. So whoever did the artwork on this one definitely stands out a little bit more than the others. Again, not that the others were bad, it's just sometimes you just like some things a little bit more, right? And this, who is this? Okay, cool. So it is right side up this time, unlike last month. Who is that though? This is the Warlord, maybe, I guess? Should have read the thing, but either way, so there's that for you. 
this is a very ridiculous picture. It's like the kind of thing that like, if I took this, I would see it like years later and be like, what was I doing? What was going on in my life that this made sense? Because looking at it, it doesn't, right? At the time when this was relevant, yeah, sure, of course, right? But wow, that is how far we've come, huh? How far we've come as like wrestling fans and wrestling wrestlers. So there's that, we've done it. So up next after this, in case you're curious, if you're into like watching me talk about wrestling related things, I have a couple things from Pro Wrestling Tees right here on the floor. So if I do this right, this video that's coming next will be hopefully right available as soon as this one's available. And so by the time you're seeing this, you'll also be able to just kind of click on to the next thing and it'd be that. We'll see what happens. From me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Like I said, I'll be back with other videos. The shoot thing, I'll get back to it when I get back to it. But these things, a lot easier and a lot more entertaining on my end, right? So there is that. Later, people.